Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 43, and this is war number eight. And we're going against NYC Guardians. That does not fill me with good feelings, let me tell you. I think they are going to be a tough match. Um, unless they're no longer taking war all that seriously. Then maybe. Let's see, who did they ban? All right, Kingpin, Ghost, and Warlock. All right. Let's see what we got going on over here. I will not be taking that uh, Zemo. All right, so we've got Vision Arcus. I usually use Claire for that. Uh, and I saw out of the corner of my eye, yep. Um, so that's going to be Magneto. So Claire, Magneto, and ugh, Hulkling. Yeah, Nimrod on that node, we've already fought him there before. It is annoying, but doable. So Hulkling, Claire, and Magneto. Claire can also do the... Um, infamous iron man fight all right oh they don't even have someone there okay Ugh. hmm oh and a weapon x for the boss interesting all right so claire is gonna be the same team that i went in uh last time with we should be uh fine All right, that's the plan. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay, this war was a more relaxing war. Uh, we're going in with the same team that we went in with last time. Uh, that seems to be a, a pretty solid team for my path, given the uh, defenders that I tend to, to you know, see on it. So once again, the first fight was difficult. <laughs> All right, um, Vision Arcus. Anytime I see Vision Arcus, I think of Claire. Of course, I think of Claire quite often. And you'll notice that I use her quite often. She's just that good. So with Vision Arcus, he is an annoying defender. However, if you can nullify, then he's not that bad. And guess what? Claire can nullify. So I don't have to worry about his power gain. You see the power gain right there? Boom, gone. Just like that. Look at this. He's already down less than 80%. He don't got anything for Claire. Nothing. All right. He got another uh, power gain. Bam. Gone. Now, I'm still trying to bait out his special. But what he keeps on doing is just waiting until he gets the power gain so that he can uh, fire off his next special. But what I did there, just so you know... Um, when I saw that he wasn't going to throw his special and he was holding it so that he can get that special two out, maybe even a special three, I went and attacked him. And the reason he didn't fire that special two is because I was holding my block. Usually when you hold your block, but not always, they won't fire their special. So I held my block and just finished him off and didn't worry about trying to bait out his special. Uh, this time it worked. Doesn't always work. Now, we've got another fight against uh, future Ant-Man. And like I said in the last war, I really need to get his uh, SIG level up. If I'm going to be using him like I'm using him, I really do. And it looks like I'm going to be using him. Uh, I am the future Ant-Man killer. Uh, unless I, you know, have some defenders on my path that require me to do... Uh, a lot more. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. See how he's unblockable right now? You didn't see that happen in the other fight. It's just RNG because I don't have the pacify. So that's all that that means. Because I don't have pacify maxed out or whatever, I have to be careful and watch for that for the times when it doesn't. Other than that, it's basically parry heavy block. As you can see, don't dex. 
just block. Um, and I'm going to give him more Sig stones for sure. Um, I still have um, some gauntlet runs to do. Uh, they gave me those two keys. Haven't done those two runs yet. Uh, and I think there's like 50 uh, Sig stones uh, in there. And so I'll probably end up doing that and giving him those and get him up to, you know, at least 100, you know. But we'll see. We'll see how uh, how that goes. I might get some other uh, Sig Stones and start feeding them to them. All right. Now here, if you'll recall, and it's not the same, uh, not the same uh, uh, alliance that we're fighting, but you'll notice that they have it reversed. So the last time I had to fight, maybe they were listening. Um, but this is what I said I would have done in the last war. They had Nimrod here and they had infamous Iron Man on the other node. And I would have done it just like this. So whoever placed this um, knows what they were doing. Uh, Nimrod is the way more annoying as you will see when we get there. But like I also said, it's not like infamous Iron Man is really difficult on here, um, but he's definitely uh, better to put here than on that other node if you have a Nimrod. So, as you can see, I'm kind of staying uh, in Curse of Blood, I, and I'm thinking about cycling all the way through. One of the reasons to cycle through uh, is to get rid of the poison so that when I fire off my special two in Curse of Blood, I'll heal for more. Because that poison is actually reducing my healing. You know, I'm still healing, but it's just reducing it. So that is an option. However, what often happens to me is I will try to cycle, and before I can get back to the Curse of Blood, something always happens, they get their armor ups back, and I start taking a ton of bleed damage. And it makes it not even worth it, you know? And so I'm just like, you know what? Why don't I just stay right here? Play it safe. Just relax. Now, notice that when I nullify, you can't permanently get rid of his armor. So it just goes on cooldown. And while it's on cooldown, it's like he doesn't have it. Okay? And so I'm just... Look at this. Look at this. That's why that's not unblockable. Because his uh, armor up is on cooldown. So let's go through. And I don't mind his special too. Look at this. 1%. Really? 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 Anyway, we got him down. Now for the fun fight. This fight is annoying. And I will talk you through my thought process as I'm fighting uh, this guy. And you'll see why he's more annoying on this node than on the other one. Compare the fights and you'll see. So you know you got the enhanced shock, but Hulkling is immune to shock. So I don't have to worry about that. All right, so what I like to do is I try to build up my pierce charges, right? But the more armor ups he has, I glance, which means I'm not able to trigger my buffs. Now, look at this. He has four armor ups. Look at the glancing, y'all. And, yeah, that happens every once in a while because the input don't let me move. But, anyway, look at the glancing. Look at the glancing. I'm trying to get him on his um, block. And he's not wanting to block. Look at this. Whoa. He don't want to block. <laughs> and so what I'm doing here is I'm also trying to watch. Look at this. Unblockable now. But I evaded that. I'm watching the armor ups. And I'm trying to wait till they go down to two to do my big attacks. And see, even with two, that's a 60% chance to glance. But I at least have a chance to get my piercings up. And you can see here. There we go. Look at that. Bam. That is what I want to do. But that takes a little bit of timing. So he is way more annoying on this node. Just not impossible to fight. Okay? So as long as he has those two, I've at least got a 40% chance to get some good uh, damage in. But like when he has these four up, it's annoying. See, look at this. All glancing. 
until he goes down to two and then I have a chance. So very, very annoying. And I think at one point, I just get annoyed enough that I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to attack him. But yeah, look at that. Another uh, armor up. Two more. So I'm just going to go in. I'm like, whatever. You can see here, I'm hoping, hoping, and you can see I don't have any pierce because I keep glancing. Can't get my pierces up. Okay, so here we go. And I just got unlucky. You know, it's a 60% chance to glance, so there we go. I got a pierce, and I'm just like, you know what? Bump this. I know what he can't, um, you know, glance my special three and so that's what i did because i just got tired of it but look i didn't lose that much health but it is a, a more annoying fight all right so that is the last fight that i had to do for this war like i said a relatively nice um relaxing war anyway uh but anyway uh we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war, and boy, did we get spanked. I'm not sure what happened. I really am not sure what went on. But look at the score. We got riggedy riggedy wrecked this war, okay? Um, didn't even um, fully explore it. Wow. Yeah, we, we, look, look at that. Oh, man. Embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Well, that is our second loss in a row. So um, hopefully we're going to refocus and get them next war. Uh, we had won two wars in a row. Now we've lost two wars in a row. And if we want to stay in tier two, and we've got what? Uh, four wars, I think, to go. Um, but if we want to stay in tier two, we can't be losing, all right? Uh, but anyway, uh, and I, you know, NYC Guardians, I, I think I said this when we started. Uh, when I saw them, I was like, oh boy, why are we matching up with them? They, they, I think we're supposed to be taking war a little bit more lightly, but I mean, it's still NYC Guardians. They're tough, okay? Uh, but anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.